What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Copart for another Copart walk around. Let's jump into this today with number one on my list. How about we start with the travel trailer? How about a 2018 Jayco White Hawk with some side damage? And this is the damaged side. So if you can't see it, I'll, I'll bring you over here closer here in a minute. We're gonna try to come over to this side. They've got this thing like slammed, man. This, this thing is as low as it's gonna go on the ground over here. Let's take a look at this side and see if there's any damage over here. This is a pretty pretty good sized travel trailer, guys. This is nice, and truthfully, the damage, in my opinion, isn't that bad. That's interesting. Somebody took off the cover, I guess. There's screws laying under here that are black, so somebody's been in here doing something. Isn't this for the refrigerator? I'm fairly certain this is, uh, this is for the refrigerator right here. Uh, oh. This is what those screws went to. They went over here. Yeah, they went into there. So um, this panel would have just slid in and then had some latches on it like those over there. So you got a little outside faucet right here. You got your holding tank discharge over there, black and gray water tanks. There is some damage over here as well. I didn't see this in the photo, so I must have missed it. But this is just a it's just a this is just a plastic piece that's just a little piece of aluminum that's missing off of there okay well she sits off a high in the back here also notice we got different wheels makes you wonder what happened there because you got a wheel there and you got this wheel here but if you notice this wheel looks like it's off center does it not doesn't this wheel looks like look like it's been shoved back yeah I, something something impacted here I think it bent this axle. I'd be willing to bet that axle is bent. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. You guys comment below and tell me what you think. Let's go on around the rest of it and see what she looks like. Oh, there's that beautiful TRX, my workhorse. Ah, is this the flat tire? It is, and it's got these bubbles everywhere in it. So maybe, maybe this was just the flat tire and they just put the spare on it. Look, maybe so, maybe so. Maybe it didn't impact anything as far as underneath. They definitely tried to squeeze it in somewhere that it didn't fit uh, because we got the same damage to this side that we have on the other side. So it seems like they, they got it in a little too close. And uh, yeah, they put some Gorilla Tape over it. So that's, 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 yeah, that's appropriate. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the axles aren't bent. I think I was wrong. I'm, I'm going to take back what I said earlier. I don't think there's anything wrong with the axles. I think they had a, a bad tire and they threw another one on it. Let's go inside. Let's take a look. See, oh, oh boy, it's full of stuff. When I see stuff like this, it makes me wonder if it's, if it was stolen. You know what I mean? Well, it, it smells, uh, yeah, this was stolen. This was stolen. Nobody leaves all of this stuff in something like this you know what i mean and they always take the tvs this is the stuff that you find when something's been picked up by the police you know what i mean like you got you got like this used to be somebody's photo album up here you got some dirty muddy jeans what is this I'm careful climbing up here man but look you got this you got this this game here wits and wagers it's vegas baby pop tarts man i am kind of hungry well that's puffed up i don't think pop tarts is supposed to puff up like that anyway you got boot warmers i'm i don't want to touch some of this stuff guys because truthfully you don't know what the hell it is i don't know what that is either uh little dvd player well this place got all kinds of stuff you got a you got a printer over there too little couch and you got a beautiful clock sitting back there uh here's your here's your washroom your bathroom yeah man like somebody's towel is still in here the shampoo and everything all that stuff is in here the skylight is not broken you got a, a jewel or something right here you know a smokers thing right there some shavers medicine cabinet still full can we uh we can oh wow oh wow what is this what is this Oh my goodness, okay. Obviously somebody was working on the refrigerator, so I'm guessing, oh dude, oh my God. 
Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Why did I do that? <clears throat> okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We're good. We're good. Uh, fire extinguisher. Some, what is this? Dean John jeans right there uh some dirty cowboy boots right here whoa, whoa I, I don't want to go any it stinks so bad over there uh yeah somebody stole this man and they were living in it you got cigarettes and ashes a little notebook water leak tub sink drywall tape taping knives drywall mud screws okay nice insignia tv right here little stereo system right there now, this thing is full of of stuff man look at this old camera is this an old digital camera it is old olympus oh wow okay does it turn on you think surely not no it don't turn on wow okay yeah what a shame that somebody somebody did this to people you know they, they steal people's work you know people's hard-earned money and then they just they just destroy it you know what i mean it's for like a ceiling fan or something i don't know there are bugs everywhere now bugs everywhere because i opened that refrigerator that fridge is full of bugs that fridge is full of bugs and when i opened it it released them yeah it absolutely released them what is this some kind of a little ipad type thing a next book okay somebody's purse oh man look at this it's not a purse it's an old Polaroid camera, man. Are you serious? You guys remember the old Polaroid? Wow. Super cool. Okay, so, yeah, safe to say there's a lot of... There's some scales, I think. I'm pretty sure that's... Yeah, that's a... I think that that is a scale. That is a, a scale right there. Look at that. Gee, I wonder... <laughs> yeah. Stolen. But they can always afford the drugs, right? You know, can't can't afford to take care of themselves, but they can uh, they can sure steal somebody's stuff and afford their cigarettes, their alcohol, and their drugs. That's that's one thing that never changes. Okay. Uh, oh wow, the stove. Somebody's been under here. I don't know if there's something going on with the with the water lines, but the refrigerator thing is open. We got a breaker or something. What is this? A Game Boy? A Nintendo? An old Game Boy? Okay. Yeah, this is... Cheerfully, guys, this is pretty disgusting. I gotta get away from that refrigerator. That's, that still smells like... That's something. Whew. That is... That is something. Oh, wow. Lighter. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if you found some other stuff in here. You know, going through it. Seriously. Good Lord. Okay. Well... Anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, oh, a search warrant. Hold on, I'm not going to show this to you. A search warrant. This says, uh, District Court of such and such county, State of Oklahoma, search warrant in the name of State of Oklahoma to any sheriff, policeman, or peace officer in the county of Oklahoma. Probable cause having been shown this day, affidavit, Deputy George something for believing the following property, stolen skid steer with GPS, stolen property, narcotics, and paraphernalia, items of dominion and control is located at blank location oh wow it's got an address the first is a big county gooseneck trailer tan and brown in color uh rv has no license plate displayed the second is a jayco rv trailer bumper pull it's white and black and blue stripes rv has no license plate displayed there are numerous vehicles and heavy equipment also on this property you are therefore commanded in the daytime to make immediate search of the above described person vehicle premises including the curtilage the curtilage cur curtilage i don't know what that word means thereof and the something i don't know belonging there to of for the property described above make return of this warrant to me within 10 days wow judge of the district court dated 9 of 2022 again i'm not gonna i'm not gonna show you that but uh yeah yeah i guess i was right look at that <laughs> it's definitely a theft recovery 
Um, and it looks like they had stolen quite a few other things. And, uh, well, I'm just going to throw it out there. I don't think they got away with it, guys. <laughs> I think they, I, there is a picture of these, of these folks in the bathroom mirror. I didn't show it to you um, because I, I believe it or not, even, even though they're suspected of committing a crime, allegedly, I, I'm not going to throw people's business out there like that. You know, I'm not going to. But anyway, there it is. This was fun. This one was interesting. The Jayco travel trailer. Let's move on to some cars. Next on my list, how about a 2015 Kia Optima? That's right. We're going to get back into cars now. You guys tired of all the all the toys and stuff, the trucks and the trailers? Uh, let's do cars. All right. So 2015 Kia Optima. It says it's a run and drive. The car so far looks good unless it's smashed somewhere in the back. I, I don't know. But tires... Yeah, it's got a tire or two, maybe four. The tread looks decent, not too bad. The body doesn't look too bad either. I'm not seeing any any real hail damage or anything, which you would normally find on these cars out here. Okay, this, re this really doesn't look bad. I'm wondering why it's here. Obviously, uh, hopefully you can see on the video, the window tent is really, really rough on the back. Other than that, not bad though. All of the tires actually look pretty good. The body looks good too. What about the interior? So far, so good. What do you guys see in there? Let me sniff. It, okay. Here's some cigarette burns. So it was a smoker's car, but it really doesn't smell bad. It's got an overpowering smell of air freshener. So definitely, uh, yeah, lots of cigarette burns. It was definitely a smoker's car. But you know, aside from a few burns, not too shabby, not too shabby. And if I can get in it without throwing up, I consider it, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Probably got some little LED lights that are hiding under the dash there. So you plug this in and, 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 and your lights turn on for you. Well, I don't know. I actually don't see anything, but she's got some power, but somebody left the ignition on. They do that. I've, I've, expressed my <laughs> disappointment with the people that do that many times on these videos it's a it's a trick that a lot of people use they'll come out here and they'll find something that oh and the hood is stuck shut too great they'll find a car that they like and they don't want other people to know it's a good car oh boy so they'll leave the ignition on so you can't start it and they think that it screws people out of being able to check the car out and they hope that by doing that they can get the car cheaper now when you've done this as long as me stuck hoods are not a problem generally there there's the occasion that i can't get into one but uh like i'm i'm generally here by myself and i can get into just about anything anymore so this has been a a good learning experience for me interesting that's as far as the hood opens I'm gonna say that this hood strut is the wrong one for this car. That's, the hood should definitely open further than that. Okay, yeah, uh, leaving the ignition on and, and sticking hoods, not a problem for me because I've been doing this for years. All right, let's open this bad boy up. Let's get our positive onto that terminal, get the negative. We'll go ahead and just assume that it's gonna need a, an override throw that bad boy on there and she's got juice now now she's got juice let's take a look oil yep she's got oil and it's full it's not pretty but it's full it's also full of the proper uh, coolant as you can see right there so all right says it runs I'm inclined to believe that it probably does isn't this the generation that was notorious for bottom-end engine failure that has a warranty to like 120,000 miles Oh, yep, that's a bottom end knock. Unfortunately, she is outside of that warranty period. Yeah, uh, that's a shame. That's a shame. She's got 157,000 miles on the odometer. So, and it's got a dead miss. So these are two very common issues, very common symptoms of a failed engine on these cars. Well, I should say, a misfire and a knock on any car is a, a dead giveaway that there's a problem with the engine. So let me clarify that for a minute. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. We'll go ahead and shut her down. Um, damn, that sucks. 
That sucks. So yeah, that's a dead giveaway on, on pretty much any car that there's definitely a problem with the engine. But what I'm saying is that these cars are actually notorious for having this problem. It's, it's a common issue. And because of it, uh, if I remember right, there was a class action lawsuit and Hyundai slash Kia actually extended the warranty on these to 120,000 miles. So if you end up with a bottom end issue on something like this, they'll do a short block on it uh, for absolutely free. So if you can find these with bottom end noise under 120,000 miles on the cheap, snatch them up if you can and get them over to Kia Hyundai so they can basically put a new motor in these things for nothing. Another thing I noticed is we got FedEx labels on this intake manifold. We also got blue writing on the intake manifold. We got some aftermarket dots on a few parts too, it looks like. So I'm wondering if uh, somebody's been in here because I can promise you Hyundai slash Kia does not put FedEx labels on their intake manifolds. I don't know what happened to this car. But something tells me that it, it had a, a relatively difficult life. Um, and because it's outside of that warranty, I do not feel like personally putting an engine in one of these. So uh, I'm going to pretend that I never saw this car and we're going to move on to the last one. Last on my list. What is this? A 2002 Lexus RX 300? Maybe a little bit newer. I think this is a 2002 though. We'll check in a minute. It's got bold tires. It's got dings and dents and 175,000 miles white letter tires though right white letter tires uh bf goodrich on the front michelin radial on the back it's supposed to be a run and drive though so and it's got a tulsa sticker on it so maybe it's from oklahoma we got a prime well over here it's got one good tire some damage with some rust right there and then another Michelin right there. So uh, side marker lights, you know, she, she's rough is what I'm trying to say. She's 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 real rough. OK, well, let's let's check out the interior. Of course, I got to know how it smells. Um, I'll just get it over with. Surprisingly, it's not that bad. This one is not that bad. OK. Um, I'm very thankful because there are many of these that I get into and uh, I just want a Ralph. Uh, this one, although it doesn't smell pleasant, it's, it's really not. Ooh, oh my God. That is a Taco Bell explosion if I've ever seen one right there. That is, <laughs> good Lord. Wow. Okay. Okay. So let's jump right in. That sounds like a good idea. Um, yeah, okay. What do we got here? Cigarette lighter. What else we got? Got a little Bluetooth speaker. Okay. Interesting. You got the book? Yeah, books and a multi CD uh, uh, cartridge right there. We do have a key. I can promise you it's dead because, you know, it's a Lexus. It's gonna be dead as a doornail. Come on. But it is supposed to be a run and drive. Yeah, dead as a doornail. I called it. I knew it. Overall, really not too bad, guys. This one's not too bad. I, I just, I got a feeling about this one and, and it's not a good one. This is not a good one. I don't know. I saw it and I was like, okay, it's it's worth going and checking out. But now that I'm here, oh no, no, no. No, we got spider webbage. Lots of lots of spider, I mean lots of spider webs under here, guys. Lots of spider webs. She's been sitting. I'm surprised it runs, to be honest with you. It, it says it does. Uh currently though, I'm a little doubtful. <laughs> I'm a I'm a little doubtful that this one actually runs. So why don't we figure out where the positive and negative go? Get back up there. This thing loves to slide around on me. All right, she's on. Let's give her a little override boost. I would be willing to bet that I know what's wrong with this one. Let me make sure that is that positive for sure. That has a cross on it, so that's for sure positive. There we go. Um, timing belt motor. It's got oil. 
and it doesn't look half bad. I wonder what the I wonder if the timing belt has been changed on this. I wonder at 175,000 miles it had to be. I'm just surprised that there's no sticker under the hood that tells you that it was. I would be willing to bet that this is probably a transmission problem. She fired right up. It's running a little rough. It's out of fuel too. I don't know if you can even see those gauges. I can barely see them. I'm sitting right here. All right, no check engine light yet. We have a brake light on though. Where's the, uh, there we go. E-brake is off. Check engine light is flashing. She bogs down when you give it throttle. For sure. <laughs> the battery is super, super shot on this. Does it go backwards? Yes. Forwards. Yes. All right. Important window. Yes. We're, we're getting somewhere. Air conditioning. Where is the... Where is the... Well, heck, I don't know. There we go. Temperature. Cold. Oh, I guess it's right here. Ah, I heard the air conditioning come on. We'll let that sit there and do its thing for a minute. It is running very, 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 very poorly. We cannot get in here. This is... Uh, is there not another button or something for that? Okay. I'm guessing the hatch is just broken. Yeah. So there is a keyhole here. So I guess we'd have to use the key to get in there. Unfortunately, uh, I'm running short on time to be able to do any of that stuff. They close in six minutes. Alternator is charging, 15 volts, which means you can go ahead and shut that off and she'll run. So here's here's the thing. It's running really, really bad, right? Uh, it's also been sitting for years. You could tell that. There's, it's obvious it's been sitting. It's also out of fuel. So it could have rotten gas in it, and that could definitely be the reason that it's running so poorly. Um, transmission? The fluid actually doesn't look that bad. It's not the best I've ever seen, but... Now, when I said that I would suspect a transmission problem, these, these Lexuses are kind of notorious for a transmission problem that actually isn't related to the transmission at all. They end up with, I can't remember what it is. It's a knock sensor. That's what it is. This vehicle, if I remember correctly, has two knock sensors and they are a bear to get to. Uh, oh, she's smoking really good. That's nice. Hopefully that's valve cover smoke from oil. But anyway, um, when one of the knock sensors goes bad, it'll put the transmission into limp mode. Yeah, look how dirty and nasty that is. It's, been, it's just been sitting. I gotta sniff it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That fuel is, uh... It's good enough to burn, I guess. But thankfully, they left it empty. The air conditioning is ice cold. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off because it is smoking pretty good under the hood. I can smell oil. Um, I'd be willing to bet valve cover leaks. Of course, it could have a rear main leak too. Who knows? It's hard to say. But uh, she's been sitting for a long time and she obviously sat for a reason. Look at all that smoke. Wow. Uh, could be valve covers. I, I would put money on valve covers. That'd be my guess because they're kind of a pain. Uh, they're a pain to get to. So valve cover gaskets are going to be something that needs to be addressed on this for sure. But if, if one of those knock sensors or both of those knock sensors go bad, uh, that's it. Transmission goes into limp mode, and I think it sticks in second gear. And it is a pain to get to. And when you're talking about something like this, it's just an older Lexus with high miles. It's already smoking, and it's banged up anyway with bad tires. How much money are you really going to spend? Or labor. You know, how much are you really going to spend working on this thing? So for me, I'm going to say, even though it runs, and it runs well with cold air conditioning, 
for me, this is a hard pass. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna get out of here. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember, I'm doing some car giveaways on this channel, so be sure to be subscribed to the channel and follow me on Instagram. My Instagram link is below this video. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video and stay safe out there. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.